Here's the news. Oh my gosh. This just in, Michael Jordan stock soars after the last dance. An autographed pair of Air Jordans number ones sold for a record $560,000 as per CNBC. Before we get into the rest of this, let me just tell you who we are. My name is Hayden Crudoff from the Hayden Films Institute, and today we're starting a new series called the Hayden Films Minutes. And you should do the same thing that everyone else does on these awesome series. Like this channel, share it, subscribe to it, and please tell all your friends. But before we get started, over here on the upper right-hand corner, there's some great links about our previous episodes of Hayden Films Verge, which are full podcast interviews. You'll definitely want to check those out when you get a chance. And then you're going to see a few other links that are going to be up there as well. That's going to be part of the news. So let's dive into this. So Michael Jordan's stock soars after the last dance, $560,000 for a pair of autographed Air Force Ones. I mean, I'm just trying to really just meditate on how that is possible. But you know why it's possible? Let's just talk about the um, Last Dance 10 part series on ESPN. Um, hopefully everyone watched it as I did. It was like going back to the old days where you came home and everyone knew where you were at nine o'clock, right in front of the TV, right watching the channel. I wasn't waiting to stream it. I just wanted to watch it live each Sunday at um, nine o'clock Eastern time, of course. Um, so the, the whole thing is, if you watch the whole series, um, it really starts telling um, the story of the Chicago Bulls dynasty from the um, first three-peat to the second three-peat, um, obviously why Jordan um, left to go play baseball. So it's very interesting. And I'm not going to spoil it for those that did not watch it yet. Um, but you know you want to watch it. It's okay. We'll have a link in our description below and you can rewatch the series. I would strongly recommend that um, for those that have not seen it. And uh, let's just talk about Michael Jordan as far as uh, you know, is he the GOAT or not? You know, you're having a lot of people from your Generation Zs and your Millennials continuously debate how great he really was. Um, one good thing about yesterday's ending show is, um, you know, Commissioner um, Stern. And he had a very good point towards the end of the series when he summed up the series. Prior to Michael Jordan, the NBA was in about 80 plus countries. Think about that, 80 plus countries, 80. During Jordan's supremacy in the league in the 90s and his 90 run, they were in over 200 countries, 84 to 200. So we're talking about a player who monumentally changed the NBA and quite frankly changed sports as we know it. So I'd like to ask you a few questions so you can be part of this um, dialogue. Um, did the 1998 um, Bulls, have a chance to go further? Do you think they should have gone one more year, two more years? Or do you think that was the end of the reign and it should have been over? That's my number one question. Please let us know in the, in the comments below. Start a dialogue, disagree with one another. Uh, right now I'm talking about the facts, but we'll love to get your opinion. And last but not least, can you really, after watching The Last Dance, really truly sell me on why the LeBron Jameses of the world, the Kobe's of the world are really better for basketball, better players, because I know that argument continues on. The new players are more dominant, they're more physical, they're stronger, they're this, they're that. Um, I don't know, you gotta watch the, you gotta watch the whole 10-part series because those bad boys from Detroit Pistons, whew, that was some real basketball. I'd like to see those rules come today. So that was a, just a little bit of an opinion. So we'll have that ESPN link below. Uh, I really personally think that, um, you know, the last dance um, is going to uh, make the, the Jordan brand skyrocket even further. Uh, I'll have the article here from CNBC for the actual um, record-breaking uh, Jordans for 560000 and we'll definitely have the links for um, ESPN below as well. So continuing on with the news, I think there's some really great um, news coming in from AdAge. AdAge is just a really great platform that really connects advertisers, marketeers, businesses um, to some really great content. I would recommend you um, checking them out. Um, but they do have a new program coming up in the next few weeks called AdAge 20 Minute Take. Okay, it's a, it's a series and it's called Accelerating Innovation. And so what they're gonna be doing is it's powered by um, Verizon Media. And what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be having leading executives from the Verizon team, 
um, and the Ad Age team, and it's going to be distributed on Facebook, Periscope, LinkedIn, Twitter, across many different um, platforms. And they're really going to be talking about um, how marketeers and buyers should adjust their strategies in this current climate. Um, so that's going to be really important. We'll have that link in the description, plus this article for you to check out um, so that you can really find out, are you doing what's best for uh, your business and are you making those adjustments or pivoting in this new climate as it pertains to creating content, creating marketing campaigns and things of that nature. So with that said, what we'd like to do um, is we're going to also on all of our episodes, depending on what um, we can do from a Hayden Films perspective, is what we are doing right now is we're offering a free hour strategy phone conference. Okay, and that link is gonna be right up here in the upper right-hand corner of this video on YouTube. And if you are looking to do uh, logo design, website design, video photography events, social media ma management, branding services, quite frankly, any custom project, you know, you can click on the link up here, fill out the form, and we'll contact you with our team, and we'll spend an hour with you. No cost, no obligation. We'll spend an hour, learn about who you are, learn about what you're looking to do, because now is the time to make those adjustments in your strategy. Uh, marketing in the 21st century is gonna to continue to evolve with AR, VR, and all the different properties and, and platforms that are out there. And you know, I'll quote and paraphrase from Gary V. Gary V had a really great web uh, X a few weeks ago, I think maybe it had been a few months ago. I'll link that in the description below as well. And you know, right now, Google is the 21st century phone book. If you look at um, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, those are like pages of the phone book. So it's all about consumer intention. If you can have those um, configured and, and providing the message to your consumer in those particular channels of distribution, you'll get their attention and hopefully be able to um, give them some opportunities on sales, marketing services, and the like. Um, another quick announcement. We are here at Hayden Films. We're working on some really great projects. Um, we first want to thank all the students that work so hard this semester from Kutztown University, our surrounding area in the Philadelphia market, northeast, um, um, eastern part of the country, and quite frankly, the whole entire country, because I know you guys were dealing with a lot um, in this current climate. However, the great thing about Hayden Films Institute is we're always looking for some really high level students. Um, to participate in some of our projects and some of our programming. So right now we have a, a great app, an app that we're going to be developing over the summer into the fall and into next year. So we're going to be looking for a very high level computer science major to join the team. We're going to be looking for a marketing student to join the team and a communication student. So again, all that information is in the description below. And again, you'll see some additional links on the, on the upper right hand corner here. Um, or my better yet, upper left-hand corner if you're watching it on your phone or any other mobile device. And we're not gonna edit this because we like real life um, content. Um, so the bottom line is we had some really good notes and we're gonna keep this really short. We're not gonna try to make these long 12, 15 minute long videos. That's for our Hayden Films Verge when we're doing some of our longer um, interviews. Uh, but Michael Jordan's stock, can you imagine why? Again, the, the article right here from CNBC really breaks it down. And we, again, would love to know why you think his stock is soaring um, based on The Last Dance. And again, the comments below are for you to have open discussion. And we want to hear everything about the new 21st century athlete and what Michael Jordan really meant to the world of sports, basketball, and quite frankly, pop culture and entertainment abroad. And... Um, it's been a great day and this is going to be a series that you're going to enjoy we hope it's going to continue to evolve in the coming days weeks and more and we're going to have some really special people running the show from time to time other than myself and so we look forward to it until then we'll be coming back with a, another hayden films um, minutes episode soon but until then make a difference